You want sustainable leadership. You want you want to be able to give people information for them to defend those things. You do not want to be the one defending people. Mm. My dad kept telling me that he, I used to ask him, because he was a member of parliament, he was a politician, and I asked him, why do you have to keep asking the community about what you should do? You should just go and do it. I mean, walk in and say, okay, we're going to do ABCD, we're going to construct a school, we're going to do this. And he said, what if they don't want the school? You want, you want to speak to everybody together, but then at the same time, you want to make people feel important in their own different capacity. So you want to have a community meeting and speak and say, you know, this is the issue. At the same time, you want to be able to have when women are doing their little thing, going to fetch water, whether they're having a meeting of, of women, you're able to like, speak to them, listen, really listen to them in their context. We were having a celebration at I won the Goldman Award, and you get opinion leaders of the community saying, oh, we have her, we are fine, there's nobody who can go against us. And you sit there and you think, it's good to win this award, but it doesn't mean I can carry the whole community you know, on my shoulders. But now you do it, you don't say it outright, but in a very subtle way, where you are in forums and you can be at the back. Give somebody a question and you tell them to answer us. Then you throw it around. They start to, they can take that one question and own it for the next 10 years. That's the one part that they will pick. Every day I wake up, I believe that I have a chance to make a difference. And so, if, if the difference could be either way, it's going to piss somebody off. But at least I have a chance. <laughs>